if I will send an advice to all employees, this is what I will say. Build a home earlier, be it rural home or urban home. Building a house at 50 is not an achievement. Let all your family have a good time in your house. Build more memories in your home. Go home. Don't stick at work all the year. You're not the pillar of your department. If you drop dead today, you will be replaced immediately and operations will continue. Make your family a priority. Don't chase promotions. Master your skills and be excellent at what you do. If they want to promote you, that's fine. If they don't, stay positive to your personal development. Avoid office or work gossip. Avoid things that tarnish your name or reputation. Don't join the bandwagon that backbites your bosses and colleagues. Stay away from negative gatherings that have only people as their agenda. Don't ever compete with your bosses. You will burn your fingers. Don't compete with your colleagues. You will fry your brain. Ensure you have a side business. Your salary will not sustain your needs in the long run. Save some money. Let it be deducted automatically from your pay slip. Borrow a loan to invest in a business or to change a situation, not to buy luxury. Buy luxury from your profit. Keep your life, marriage, and family private. Let them stay away from your work. This is very important. Be loyal to yourself and believe in your work. Hanging around your boss will just alienate you from your colleagues and your boss may finally dump you when he leaves. Retire early. The best way to plan for your exit was when you received the employment letter. The other best time is today. By 40 to 50, be out. Join Work Welfare and be an active member always. It will help you a lot when any eventuality occurs. Take leave days. Utilize them by developing your future home or projects. Usually, what you do during your leave days is a reflection of how you live after retirement. If it means you spend it all holding a remote control watching series on Zworld, expect nothing different after retirement. Start a project while serving or working. Let your project run while at work. And if it doesn't do well, start another one till it's running viably. When your project is viably running, then retire to manage your business. Most people or pensioners fail in life because they retire to start a project instead of retiring to run a project. Pension money is not for starting a project or buy a stand or build a house, but it's money for your upkeep or maintain yourself in good health. Pension money is not for paying school fees or marrying a young wife, but to look after yourself. Always remember, when you retire, never be a case study for living a miserable life after retirement, but be a role model for colleagues to think of retiring too. Don't retire just because you are finished or you are now a burden to the company and just wait for your day to die. Retire young while energetic to enjoy waking up for a coffee, enjoy the sun, receive money from your business, visit nice places that you missed and spend time with family. Those who retire late spend about 95% of their time at work than with their family 
and that's why they see it difficult to spend time with their family when they retire but end up looking for another job until they die. If they don't get another job, they die early. Retire at your house than at government accommodation so that when you retire, you can easily fit into the society that raised you. It's not easy to adjust to live in a location after spending more years at company house or at government house. Never let your employment benefits make you forget about your retirement. Employment benefits adjustment to make you relax. Get finished.